here we're going to tie a fly called the Purple Prince. First thing we're going to do is start our thread at the bead and take it all the way back down the bend. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to tie in our tails, which are either a dark gray or a black. You could even use brown. The color of the tail actually isn't hugely important. And you want these tails, the biots, to face away from each other like so. You want those to be about half of the length of the shank of the hook. I just roughly measure those out, do a loose wrap around them and secure them into place. And that way they are each secured on the sides of the hook. So you can see they splay away from the hook there. And we're going to take our thread forward, wrapping over these biots. Once we get to the thorax region. You can cut these biots out of there. Now we're ready to tie in our rib, which is just going to be some copper wire. We're going to tie this in on the side of the hook. We're going to take our thread back to the tail. Now we're ready to dub the body. For this I'm just going to use some purple dubbing. I'm actually using a ice dub for this. It's actually called brown, but it's purple. But if you want a deeper, darker purple, you can use a standard purple dubbing. I like a little bit of a buggier colored purple. And just add this ice dub and stages. Slowly add it to the hook. Gotta be careful not to add it all at once or it'll all just clump up. I just work my way up the shank of the hook. Now once I get to the head, I'm going to take my wire and I'm just going to wrap through this dubbing. Help secure it in place. Now, the next step is to collar the fly. For this, I'm going to use some black hen. And just roughly measure it out like a nice collar on this fly. And to tie this in, I'm just going to peel back the feather to expose the tip as much of it as I can leave the stem exposed. That's what I'm going to grip onto with my hackle pliers. What I'm trying to do here is just stroke back as many of those fibers as I can. So I just expose the very tip of it. I'm going to tie this in to the front of the hook here. trim out the very tip. I'm going to grab the stem very carefully. I'm going to wrap this soft tackle around the front of the fly. 
Once I've got it all wrapped, I can capture it with my thread. And I can trim out that stem. Now I'm ready for the wing. Just kind of clean up this head here a little bit. For the wing, I'm just going to use a white turkey biot. I'm going to use two of those. And I want these to curve downward. And these you want to be about the length of the hook, maybe just a hair longer. Handling these can be a bit frustrating, very slippery. Sometimes they like to stick together, which is what's happening to me right now. They're stuck together. There we go. So what I try to do is kind of make a little bit of a V. That way they don't lay down on top of each other because you kind of want them to splay away. You want them to be just a hair longer than the, the hook. So I just pinch them into place and then tighten down. Just like so. Trim them out of there, the butt ends. And I could pinch everything back and I try to get it all to lay down. Get the rest of these butt ends out of here. ready to whip finish as soon as you get them to lay down. Actually sometimes what I'll do, like this one, I have a little bit of a head there. I'm just going to take a little bit of this dubbing. Make a little bit of a collar. That'll help lay everything back. Also cover up a little bit of that thread. Now you're ready to whip finish. And that's all there is to the purple prints.